Let's talk nitrates and ammonia. What are they? How to balance them? Are they dangerous for your fish? This is what we're gonna see together in this video. A few weeks ago, I made a video about nitrates in aquaponics. Uh, nitrates are very interesting because they are the link between the fish poo and uh, the nutrient for the plants. Uh, they are actually the nutrient for the, for the plant. Today, I would like to talk about uh, nitrates and ammonia because they are the first particles that are going to be formed from the fish poo. Um, those particles can be very toxic for the fish. If they remain in the system and if you don't have any good filtration, if you can't really basically transform them in nitrate, uh, then they're going to build up in the system and they're going to become toxic for the fish. So the symptoms for the fish, uh, first they're going to start to be stressed. The fish are going to be stressed, they're going to come to the surface, they're going to swim strangely, you're going to find some fish um, that are going to start to try to breathe uh, the oxygen outside of the water uh, simply because uh, basically the, their blood is not able to transport the oxygen efficiently. It can also attack the liver and the retina, the eye of the fish. So it's quite serious. Sometimes you will also find some fish with brown gills. You know the gills, they are brown uh, or red, red brown, you know. Uh, that's a sign that you may have high nitrate or ammonia in your water. Uh, same as for the nitrate, uh, the fish are going to be stressed. And here, way more, right? You don't need a, a lot of uh, nitrate and ammonia in the water to have a big stress on your fish. So then the coloration of the fish can be darker. So they, they, can, they can also be very quiet in the bottom of the tank. There are a lot of different behaviors that the fish can have that are linked to a high concentration of nitrate and ammonia. So you understand that we are talking about very serious injuries for your fish. And obviously if you have way too much nitrate or ammonia, the fish can simply die. So think of the welfare of your fish. Think of, think of the health of your fish and please keep those parameters low in your aquaponic system. So in the aquaponic system, uh, we want obviously to generate a bit of ammonia and nitrate simply because uh, they're going to be transformed in nitrate. But in a normal aquaponic system that is well managed, you can't really detect them. Uh, as soon as they appear, basically they are transformed thanks to some bacteria into uh, some nitrate. So the, the ammonia and nitrate are disappearing straight away. So the ammonia and the nitrate are part of the nitrogen cycle. Uh, you know, the fish poo in the water and then you got some ammonia that is released in the water. And we need this ammonia because then it's going to be transformed in nitrate and then in nitrates. And obviously the nitrates are the food for the plant. So that's good. We want to have this mechanism. Uh, but the thing is that we don't want the ammonia to stay ammonia. We don't want the nitrate to remain nitrate. We want them to be transformed straight away into nitrate. Uh, so in your aquaponic system, when you check uh, the quality of the water, you shouldn't be able to detect ammonia or nitrate. And if you are able to detect them, it should be at very low concentration. So what are accepted ammonia and nitrate concentration? We are talking about uh, 0.1 ppm, 0.05 ppm. And it will start to be very harmful after 0.5 ppm. So then, same as for the nitrate, every single species of fish has got different limits and some fish, such as carps, are going to be able to accept a bit more ammonia and nitrate in the water than other fish, such as trout. So, if you are raising carp, you should still aim to have a low concentration of nitrate and ammonia, but if you make a few mistakes here and there, you may be able to keep your fish surviving, while if you are raising trout, uh, as soon as you make a mistake into uh, the management of your system and uh, you have too much ammonia on nitrate, uh, the fish are simply gonna die. I think a good rule for all species is to keep the ammonia and nitrate level below 0.2 ppm. So now you're gonna ask me how to balance, how to make sure we keep our concentration below this maximum level. 
uh, the best thing to do is to respect the ratio. Uh, you know, you have a ratio of maximum fish biomass that you can keep in your system. Uh, and it's related to the quantity of bacteria you, that you have in your aquaponic system. So if you are in a grow bed aquaponic system, uh, basically it's going to be linked to the volume of your grow bed and the quality of the media. So uh, in the free training that I offer in the description of this video or in the corner, you're going to find an eye like information. If you click on the eye, you will have access to this free training. Uh, it's a it's a step-by-step -step process where basically I give you all the knowledge that you need to be able to build a good aquaponic system that is going to work. But I also give you some uh, very specific limits and ratios that you need to respect if you build your own system. So the ratio uh, are quite simple. We are talking about volume of fish tank per volume of crow bed. Those type of things are very, very, very important. You need to keep them in mind. If you respect those um, limits and ratio in the design of your system but also in uh, the quantity of fish that you keep then you always going to remain underneath uh, the 0.2 ppm of ammonia or nitrate if you go over then uh, it's going to be at risk so i don't recommend to go over the limit uh, that we fix in this free training so i hope uh, this gives you a bit of information obviously uh, I don't spend too much time talking about those two parameters. There are a lot of things we could say, uh, but if you have any specific question, please uh, ask it in the comment of the of the video, and I will be very happy to respond to your questions. And if you have specific knowledge uh, to add on top of this video, please also add it in the comment. It's going to be very useful for all the beginners who are uh, starting aquaponics. So I really hope you enjoy those videos. Uh, if you are new here, uh, you can subscribe to the channel. I release one video every week and I give some tips to help everyone to raise and to grow some food in his own backyard thanks to aquaponics. I see you in the next video. Bye bye. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!